the banks of the Mississippi River, there once lived a boy named Tom Sawyer, who caused his Aunt Polly more trouble than a barrel of catfish. Tom Sawyer, you broke Judge Thatcher's window today. That toe's not sore, Tom. Get up and go to school. Tom Sawyer, stop where you are or I'll box your ears. Tom? You call me Aunt Polly? You broke the cookie jar. Truth was, Tom's mind was on other things, which he soon told to Bill Harper. Bill, meet me tonight down at the riverfront. What do you aim to do, Tom? I'm not Tom anymore. I'm the Black Avenger of the Spanish Main. You'll be the terror of the seas. We're bold, brave river pirates, starting tonight at midnight. Look, a campfire on the island. Somebody's here. Run for it, Tom. Back to the boat. Oh, pirates don't run from trouble, Bill. Come on. Let's find out who's at that campfire. Creeping to the campfire, the pirates came upon two men quarreling with each other, Dr. Robinson and Injun Joe. A third man, a tramp named Muff Potter, was asleep nearby. Suddenly, the Injun drew his knife and struck the doctor down. Quickly, the Injun put the knife in the hand of the third man dozing near the fire. Why, the Injun's gonna blame someone else. That tramp, Muff Potter. He'll be arrested for sure. Like startled deer, the pirates sped back to their boat and swore each other to secrecy. Only three of us know the truth, Bill. If we talk, that engine will scalp us. Muff Potter was arrested, and it looked as though the truth would never come out. Then one day, Muff Potter's lawyer hauled Tom Sawyer to court and dragged the truth out of him. Now, under oath, point to the man who used this knife that night on Jackson's Island. Point him out. It was him. There by the window, Injun Joe. You're in a pick of trouble now, Tom Sawyer. Injun Joe's free, and he'll be after you. Because now he knows you saw that fight on Jackson's Island. Weeks passed, and when Injun Joe failed to return, Tom Sawyer grew braver. Then, one day he confided to his girl, Becky Thatcher, it was a black box full of money. A real treasure box. Well, that's what Doc Robinson and Injun Joe quarreled over. I heard them, so I know, Becky. Where is the treasure buried? There's an old barn on Jackson's Island. Must be buried in there. Let me go with you. Nope. Girls' bad luck on treasure hunts. You're just scared. I'm not. I'm hunting for that treasure tonight with Bill Harper. Ready, Terror? Ready, Black Avenger. Start digging in that corner. Where the floorboard's loose. Treasure might be there. I'll stand guard. No sooner had Bill started digging than he struck something hard. Tom, I found the treasure. I found it. But just then, Tom ran back from the doorway. Bill, let it be. Quick up the ladder to the loft. Somebody's coming, and I think it's Injun Joe. <laughs> Somebody try steal money. <laughs> I fear. Carefully, Tom spliced their pants and shirts together, then tied one end to a beam. Soon, they lowered themselves to the floor. Leg up for the river now, Tom. Wait a minute. Injun Joe must have headed for the cave on the other side of the island. He's going to rebury the treasure there. Well, let's go after him. Not me. I'm going home. Not long after, a ferry boat took a picnic crowd to Jackson's Island, and Tom invited Becky Thatcher along. Do you really think Injun Joe hid the treasure in the cave, Tom? Well, I'm not sure, but it would be a good place. Why don't we explore it right now? Suddenly, Tom tripped over something, fell to his knees. Becky, look what I tripped over, the treasure. That's wonderful. Now let's go back. Wait, I can't see the entrance to the cave anymore. Becky, we're lost. Grimly, Tom and Becky wandered underground. 
they had almost given up when they made a turn in the passageway and then... Look! A light! There's the entrance! We're safe! Later on, Tom told the townspeople about the cave. They were sure Injun Joe would return to get his treasure, so they set up a guard and waited. One day, he returned and was caught. I give up. I go peaceful. Tom had helped catch Injun Joe, so he was a hero. And he had his share of the treasure, too. But all the money in the world couldn't keep him out of trouble, nor keep him from having more adventures. (laughs) 